hi students these three lines this red one green one and this vertical line straight lines meeting at a point are three coordinate axes and if we consider planes like this these planes mutually perpendicular planes divides the whole space into eight parts and those parts are called eight octants you can see that octants here just like this eight parts which one is the first octant second octant third octant there are eight octants one by eight of the whole space so let us stop it here and here x is positive see this is the positive direction of x axis this is the positive direction of y axis and this is the positive direction of z axis that means if we take a point here the x coordinate y coordinate and z coordinate all the three coordinates must be positive then now this x is a positive distance this is y positive z is also a positive distance therefore the coordinates three coordinates of this point are all positive that means this is a point in the first octant how can we convert this point into a point in the second octant how can we pull him back to this octant so now we can change this x coordinate into a negative number then this point is a point in the second octant now this y coordinate is positive then if we convert that number into a negative number then this is x is negative now y also is negative z is positive now it is a point in the third octant how can we pull this point into this octant the fourth octant now if we convert this x into a positive number this point is a point in the fourth octant so in order to make this point a point in the first octant we have to change this into a positive number now this is x is positive y and z all are positive now so in order to move this point into the the fifth octant we have to change this z coordinate down it is negative now it is in the fifth octant so converting this x into a negative number we can keep it as a point in the sixth octant so changing this y into a negative number we can change that point into a point in the seventh octant think of this point now what are the coordinates what's the peculiarity of the coordinates of this point see x y z all are negative here in the seventh octant see all the coordinates are negative so we can bring that point in the eighth octant by changing this x into positive now it is a point in the eighth octant so this is the basic concept about the three dimensional geometry